Hello, hello, and welcome. This is I am Mark III, and today I thought I would invite you along while I try to get back into uh, Homeworld. The remastered collection has just been released, and I am actually looking very much forward to it. Because I've really wanted to play this game for some time. I've been a fan of the series for a very long time. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a try. Standard? What the hell? Yeah, I've, this is actually my second to take it to uh, trying to record it, and I just played on Radio Symmetry, but the amount of resources that was in the Asteroids was absolutely crazy. As in, like, 30 resources per. My, my collectors were just struggling so much to try and even get anything from that. So I'm going to try a different one. Um, hmm. I don't know what any of these are like. I don't remember. That's a 3x3 configuration, that, but <laughs> I'm in a free-for-all. I set it up with um, some hard, some standards, all on random. I'm playing as Tidani because that's the race I favoured back in Homeworld 1. But I really just want to find a... Subjugate your friends? Uh, that sounds familiar, actually. Karim Wreck. Yeah, I don't remember much of the controls. It's been years and years since I played this. So... I'm not sure how it's going to go. I'm not sure how it's going to go, how well I'm going to do. I just hope it's going to be entertaining and I will have fun with it. I'm not sure what the difficulty is set to now, so I'm going to play against hard AIs. Just me, and it's all free, big free-for-all as well, so that tends to give a, a human player an advantage to that. So, here we go, and hopefully this time it'll work a bit better, because... That last one, it had so many asteroids, but they were just 30 to 50 resource units apiece, some of them were even 15. Oh yeah, that's much better. 18,000, 9,000, that is so much better. Right, let's get started with building some stuff. Destroy enemy motherships. Yeah, this is a four-way map, big wreck in the middle. Let's just get some more collectors out here. How many do I even have? I think it's probably going to be five. Assembly underway. Production underway. Standing by. Resources it in. should be five, I think. Unless a six one. Yep, six. Collection Seems confirmed. six is a standard. Ready. The standard starting point. Roger. Collection confirmed. There we go. Ready for escort. I always send um, a ship along on guard mode, so there's always going to be a resource collection thing somewhere nearby. But for now, I'm just going to start gathering resources from these lovely, lovely rocks. While I get my initial research ship built from my mothership. Because I want to start getting some tech up. Yeah, that is going so much better. Reporting. Let's actually move my carrier in a bit closer. Let's move it there. Just because. But I also wanted to build a couple of uh, probes as well because I want to find out what my, my opponents clear. are doing. Even if I can't really build anything until my collectors. Roger. Actually, can I force you to return? Docking with carrier. Docking with carrier. Yeah, I can get an, a slightly early resource shipment to come in. There we go. Though that didn't actually matter much because it was practically full anyway. Some of them are going back to the, my mothership. But yeah, this would give me some a nice boost of uh, resources early on. That is lo looking magnificent, that is. It seems like the re resource drop-off points can be targeted on the carriers now, which they couldn't before. That's part of all the remastering. Subsystems can be targeted on these things. Before it was all in, it, one big mass. Wait, why are you docking? Why are you docking? No, 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 no. Resource collector complete. Probe complete. I didn't want you to dock. I wanted you to harvest. That's a oh, Let's take it back. You are clear to dock. 
copy. Well, it seems that was a mistake. I wanted it to return resources, not dock there and lose them all. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, we've got a probe. Let's send this off to... Mm, over there, I think. Probes from Homeworld 1. Really good basic unit. Just a small metal box, really, with an engine on the back. Big view range, as you can see, because I've got um, full viewer there of the Vega. Oh dear, the Vegas. But once it, you've moved it once, it can't move again. It gets stuck wherever it ends up. So you do have to be a bit careful where you send them. Dispatched. But yeah, look, look at that sight ring on those. Absolutely Attention massive. Fleet. We have too many collectors here. Expect delays. Yes, yes, I know you've got too many collectors. Ready. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we've got a new collector. Moving to destination. Excellent. Now, my carrier. Do I want you to launch ships? No, I want your ships to stay docked. Do I have my research ship yet? Yes, I think I do. So let's get some capital ship drive started up. Because I want to get some heavier ships out. What have we got over there? It's a banana ship. But which is it? Okay, that's Homeworld 1. That's Kushan. My initial counterparts there. And I think I see a resource collector from the other ones. And this is... Higarans, the other Homeworld 2 race. So that means I've got one of each. That's excellent, that. Production underway. Let's start building some stuff. Standing by. Resources downrange. Start complete. Yeah. Start complete. Scouts are going to be my only combat force for a while, so... They, they've already got interceptors over there. Look at that. Production underway. They've got interceptors. They've got um, more resource collectors. So, yeah, I think that might be the AI advantage that's playing up just there. They've got a lot more than I have. Roger. Now then, you lots. How do I do this? That's right, strike down there. Confirmed. Claw, a claw formation strike group. All that there. And I could either try and cause some trouble, Research complete. but they're only scouts, or I could just get an overflight going. Moving into formation. There we go. It'll just watch over these collectors, and that's about it. Reporting. Same with this. Yep. That carrier will guard all of them. And it will try to actually do some stuff, but... Oh, support frigates. Construction underway. Is my research already done? It is. Let's get capital chassis going, All right, so that I can actually build something more dangerous. New construction options available. It's my first research research ship there, but um, I think I've just completed a second one. Have I completed a second one? Yes, I have. Let's build a third. <laughs> I've got tons of resources, but I can't actually spend them all yet. So I'm, I'm just going to keep on building my stuff, get my forces actually in, in some kind of order. And those guys over there took out my probe. How dare they? Why does that mothership seem to be moving in my general direction? It's not. Okay. Copy. That, that is control group one there. But um, we've got an enemy Strike scout over there. So let's go ahead and have a little skirmish, shall we? Homeworld 1 era scouts versus a Homeworld 2 era scout squadron. So let's see how this goes. Mind you, I, I do outnumber them. I have five ships to their three, so that gives me a slight advantage. Yep, they're running. Can I catch them? No, I can't. Oh well. But I do seem to be under attack. Group. By a, a group of interceptors, so I'm going to have to send my scouts over there. Let's just try to do something about it. Research complete. No research oh yeah, my first support carrier is coming out. 
Now then, I want to get some Corvettes out as well, so let's do that. Um, Supporting friendly units. Catch you on the inward battery. This is looking good. Stay tight. Watch your six. I'm starting to build assault frigates. These are always the backbone of my forces before. Here comes my scout wing. The problem is that scouts are not really meant to be facing interceptors. They are very lightly armed. Can't really do much. So I said when they've actually killed one of the enemy interceptors. It's because I've got a hunting pack going on in there. Oh, new Corvettes, new Corvettes. Actually, I could go for Super Capital Drive or I could go for Corvette Chassis. Let's go for the Chassis. Because I want to get access to something heavier than my Scouts. Oh, no, don't go over there. Don't go over there, you stupid Scouts. Strike group coordinates locked in. Strike group under enemy attack. Group 1 under attack. Yeah, oh, dear. Yeah, my scouts are starting to get nailed now. Acknowledged. Assault frigate complete. Strike group coordinates locked in. Friendlies under fire, moving in. Strike group to battle positions. But I have some assault frigates that are starting to come off the line now. So that's good. That's all of them. Ready for orders. Roger. Acknowledged. Combat maneuver confirmed. And with this, I have access to rather more firepower. My frigates are not very accurate against such small craft, but they pack enough punch to do serious damage when they actually connect. So let's get these things on the way. There we go. New research done. Okay, I'm researching super capital drives now. Then let's get researching some ion cannons. Uh, do I want to get heavy corvettes straight away? Not really. Let's get some light corvettes building. Oh, I could build some salvage corvettes. That's a thought. I'm sure the AI would love me if I did that. Production underway. Assault frigate complete. Yeah, let's get Assault some um, complete. salvage corvettes. Production underway. And hmm. Production underway. Support frigate complete. Because I have had a nice little plan. I'm going to build some salvage ships, give some support, and then I'm going to be very nice and try to nick their carrier off them. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be so much fun. <laughs> it's been so long since I did that. Just wandered in and nicked something. Yeah, I have a couple of assault frigates over there, so that's good. Course set. Salvage corvette complete. Reporting there we go. Underway. I've got three. I've actually got three of Copy. each frigate at the moment. Research complete. No research available. New capital ships available for construction. Oh, what have, I, what have I unlocked? What have I unlocked? What have I unlocked? Assault frigate complete. No, they can't build the heavy stuff. I remember. I can build destroyers. I can build destroyers. <laughs> These things are great. This should be fun. Ready. Actually, let's get these guys into a claw formation. Move them there. Control group one. Group one assigned. Light Um. Now, what was the key to repair? Oh yeah. Why? Ready. Right. What, what I normally do is, is I get a cluster of ships like this. Repair order confirmed. Then I give the repair orders like that. And that is a series of light corvettes moving over there. But I'm going to start moving out with my set of corvettes. So, sorry, my set of frigates there. Just go to those. I actually want these guys to guard them. So, yeah, that's fine. Confirmed. Auto launch. Thank you. I can saw 50 ships in that thing if I wanted to. <laughs> That's good. But yeah, I'm actually going to go over here now and start picking off some of their collectors just to reduce their resource income. 
Strike Group attack order confirmed. Light Corvette complete. Salvage Corvette complete. Research complete. New frigates available for construction. Standing by. You, you, you three are supposed to be moving along with them, so, you know. Light Corvette complete. Standing by. Strike Group receiving fire. Now, I have four Corvettes. Is that going to be enough? That is a good question. I don't know if four Corvettes is enough to grab a carrier. Because I don't remember. But, ooh, enemy... Group one. Enemy ships. Okay, let's target one of them. Just like that. Problem is that they are slightly outnumbered. Yeah, take that. They are already dying really quickly. Well, my ships are not taking any damage at all from them, really. There is that one down there, yes, but, um, you know. Copy. Confirmed. What are, you, what are you guys doing over there? You're supposed to be over here. I, it used to be that they could follow that, but, hmm. Yeah, while well, I've got those light corvettes moving in to tie up the um, carrier's point defence guns, now I'm going to send in my salvage corvettes to try and grab it. So let's surround it like so. Start latching on. One, two, three, four. Is that enough? It seems it is not. Damn it, I lost a frigate. And I have more incoming as well. Let's get my Corvette group to start attacking those other ships. What is that? Light Corvette? A whole load of... It's Light Corvettes against Light Corvettes going on right now. Can I salvage you? I must be able to because that fifth Corvette is on it. Sorry, that fish... Yeah, fish. Yes, the fifth Corvette is on its way. Can I get any super capital work? Yeah, I can get super heavy chassis running. My mothership can start. Is building a destroyer still. So that's going to be nasty. Okay, I've latched onto that with five of these things now. It's still not enough. What do you need? What do you want from me? I'm trying to steal you. What do you want from me? At the very least, while... It's got so many um, salvage corvettes locked onto it, it can't move, so it can't run away. But um, yeah, I need some support, so I'm going to do this a tactical hyperspace jump on my super capital. Who? That one died. Yeah, here it comes. Here comes my destroyer. <laughs> you will target the healthy one, while my other frigates deal with that light one. That wounded one over there. But yeah, look at that. It's got ion cannons. Dying so fast. And I've told it to actually go for the... Um, yeah, I want you to go for those guys, please. Thank you. Bounty received. Salvage corner complete. Ready. One That that carrier's lost all its defenders pretty much, but I can't salvage it still. Do I need? I wonder if I need six or seven of these things. I just don't know. Just building some more frigates out of my thing there. I always do work better with frigates and above. But I've got this player's uh, resource zone kind of tied up very, very effectively at the moment. And as I said, I do still hope to get this carrier out of it. 
Can I jump my mothership over? Should I jump my mothership over? It would cost me 500 resource units to move it. Mm. So I still don't know if I should or not. 